December 23rd, Sharing in the Atonement God forbid that I should boast, except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Galatians 6 verse 14 The gospel of Jesus Christ always forces a decision of our will. Have I accepted God's verdict on sin as judged on the cross of Christ? Do I have even the slightest interest in the death of Jesus? Do I want to be identified with his death, to be completely dead to all interest in sin, worldliness, and self? Do I long to be so closely identified with Jesus that I am of no value for anything except him and his purposes? The great privilege of discipleship is that I can commit myself under the banner of his cross, and that means death to sin. You must get alone with Jesus and either decide to tell him that you do not want sin to die out in you, or that at any cost you want to be identified with his death. When you act in confident faith in what our Lord did on the cross, a supernatural identification with his death takes place immediately, and you will come to know through a higher knowledge that your old life was crucified with him. Romans 6 verse 6. The proof that your old life is dead, having been crucified with Christ, Galatians 2 verse 20, is the amazing ease with which the life of God in you now enables you to obey the voice of Jesus Christ. Every once in a while, our Lord gives us a glimpse of what we would be like if it were not for Him. This is a confirmation of what He had said. Without me, you can do nothing. John 15 verse 5. That is why the underlying foundation of Christianity is personal, passionate devotion to the Lord Jesus. We mistake the joy of our first introduction into God's kingdom as his purpose for getting us there. Yet God's purpose in getting us into his kingdom is that we may realize all that identification with Jesus Christ means.